Morning thoughts. Morning thoughts. Morning thoughts. All right. Welcome to Morning Thoughts with SoFlow TV, everybody. It's your host with the most. Yeah, I have a microwave, but I don't really use it still. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, health and strength. Well, I just got back from the gym, right? Did a little workout this morning. Back on it again. And I can show you real quick what I'm about to do right now. Today is the first day, so I'm about to start a baking soda cleanse first. So what baking soda does is it alkalizes the body, right? And, and also flushes like rapid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I set up my baking soda cleanse. Because somebody was asking me, so Flo, I want to go on this journey too. Yeah, I want to get fit too. I want to um, clean my body out and all these things. And I use a clear glass just so you can see it in there. In it. Alright, so my glass. Alright. Bacon soda cleanse this morning. Huh? My glass. In the refrigerator here, you've got some water. So grab some water. Alright. In cleansing time, I normally try to use like distilled water for cleansing. But right now I'm gonna have some purified drinking water, so and it's purified through osmosis. So we need about that much water in there. Now the thing about the baking soda, that much water in that glass, right? The thing about the baking soda is this: has a nasty taste to it. Don't let nobody fool you. Has a nasty taste to it. But but if you keep one of these close by which I do, a lime or a lemon, right? You should be all right. So after you chug it, what you want to do is, you want to, I know people are saying, yo, so Flo, you know, you said Tommy Lee, get locked up on all these things. You know, I talked about those things. I talked about those things already on another video, and I'm going to do another video talking about certain things that's going on with Tommy Lee that has to do with Vibes Cartel. Some people are really blind. And I could see how Jamaica is a place where you can easily get caught up, right? If you if you is a person where I make money in Jamaica, and you're not off the cloth, if you're an uptown status, they're gonna shake you down. But I talk about that in another video. Right now, may I show you my baking soda cleanse? My arm, I can stretch my arm out now. So I did a good workout this morning, right? Trying to get the arms them back strong again. They're looking good, right? All right. So, bam, that much. Roll a lime. Which Caribbean person don't know if you roll a lime before them cut it open? Soften up the lime, right? So it's easy for squeezing. Plus, I'm gonna squeeze this right into my mouth, so. And that's how bad I think. Now, we might have different taste buds, so you might be able to handle this baking soda thing better than I would. So, see it here? Arm and Hammer baking soda, all right? Now I'm not cooking crack. I'm just, <laughs> and I take about this much. It's all clean up the system now. I take about that much. See? And dissolve it in the water, yeah? Mix it up, and it tastes bad your frig. And then, mix it, mix it, mix it. Now, I got some other things that I'm going to use to cleanse during the week, right? I've been meaning to do this, to get started on this. I figured, why not just jump right in this morning? But me and my bottle of wine every night, giving me my relaxation to go to sleep and, you know what I'm saying? Just calm the nerves and whatnot. But I'm going to get off that. It's time for me to get back to fitness. So, Irish masa, linseed, and some protein drinks and them thing that... Straighten back up the body, but I gotta cleanse first. Cause I know I got a whole lot of junk in me. So, mix up baking soda till it dissolves. Yeah? I need a knife. So I'm gonna cut this. Cut this lemon in half. Now remember, the lemon, don't squeeze it into the glass with the baking soda, you know. The lemon is for, and, and, believe it or not, a lemon, if you keep lemons around the house and you squeeze a lemon into a glass of water that you're drinking, it alkalines your glass of water. Yeah, some people are saying lemon is acidic. It is, but when lemon gets inside of the body, 
with alkalines. So I mean, I talk about alkaline the artists, and I big up the alkaline the artists. I talk about alkaline versus acidity. So some people might be wondering what I'm talking about. So acidity, if your body is acidic then you're susceptible to your immune system breaking down so you start to catch all kind of coal and all other things and then it can lead to cancer and development of cancer in the body. Cancer not, cannot survive in an alkaline body. So you have to just alkaline up the body and don't wait till it's too late. Some people, they're like, that's just nasty, me not drink it. Met doctor tell them so they have cancer tomorrow. You see if they're not going to yam down the whole baking soda lane. Over Publix and Winn Dixie, those are gas stations. Oh, not gas station. Those are grocery stores here, by the way. I don't know what grocery stores um you have Pathmark or wherever you live at, but just do it now. Do it now. So it, prevention better than cure, yeah. You see how long I'm mixing this thing? Me I procrastinate, cause I really want to drink it, cause it's nasty. But here it goes. All right. And this is what I do. I keep water close by. A jug of water, I know y'all seen brains with a jug of water, y'all see me drinking from it too. But water is very important, right? Water is very, very important. Help flush out the toxicity, help your kidney for regulate and these things, so. Oh yeah, dear. Yeah, babe. Mm -hmm. Brain just walking. What's up, good morning, babe? Good morning, guys. Alright, so. Me used to drink it. And you just chug it like so. Follow my water. <laughs> Follow by a lemon. <laughs> Nastiness. Nastiness. You ever notice what's good for you though is not always tasting good? Uh, and the things that would taste so good for you uh, are actually really, really bad for you. So I was watching this. Um, I was watching this old man. He's seventy-nine years old, and he was talking about. He's also a doctor and a research scientist, and he was talking about how at forty, age forty-five, he was diagnosed terminally ill, and no, they gave him like months to survive. The max he would have survived for was a year. He's 79 years old now, and he charted everything he did, and he's saying one of the main things he did, he said, first of all, he said he had to get in his own lab and use his own creations and experiments to save his own life because the medical industry couldn't do it, and one of the first things he did, or that any of us can do, is to cut sugar from your diet. Up to this day, he hasn't used sugar since he was 45 and he's 79. Mm. And he doesn't even take not one pill. He's fit and healthy. No aches, no pains, no nothing. He gets up, he runs, he walks, exercises, eats healthy. But he says sugar is the main thing. For, so, you know, we like no sweet things. And if you're not too sweet, we don't like it. Um, Bam. Yep. She's a sugar junkie. I feel like, so he's saying, cut sugar out your diet. There's a proven fact scientifically that every time you introduce sugar to your insides, it drops your immune system by 50% or more. I know for just a, keep this yeah, just a little bit of sugar. No, and I covered it. Oh, that's all the other stuff, though. Just a little bit of sugar. So, and the seat that now the part you're not gonna see from me drinking this uh <laughs> beer tap water hot when we drink it. He's gonna be living in the toilet all day today. Yeah, like a straight shiza, <laughs> shiting, <laughs> and all every, day. everything's gonna come out. Yeah, it's yeah. not gonna take all day. It's gonna take about a, it's gonna start to work in about thirty minutes to an hour, and then it's gonna last for about a good two hours. Did you tell them about the water and your water intake? Yeah. Oh. I did. So after you drink that, you got to drink water. I drink about a three-fourths, maybe half a gallon of water. Uh -huh. Right? You can have your, I, I would say, one person said, every time you poop, 
drink an eight ounce glass of water. So every time you poop, drink an eight ounce glass of water. And what happens is you, you, your muscles are going to start cramping up because you're like pooping out every single thing. What happens is when you're done pooping, you'll see clear. Like the poop will be coming out. What's coming out the rear is going to be looking like what you drink. What you drink. As clear as that water. Yeah. That's how you know everything is flushed out of your inside, right? So you're going to see all the brown stuff, all the nasty stuff come out. Then some other looking funny stuff and then you're going to see clearness. So it's very important. Now, can you imagine all that stuff backed up and built up inside of you? Uh, some of them want to take washouts for years. Some people want to take washouts for years. Mm. That uh, stuff is calcified inside of them, you know. Mm. So a washout like this, they probably need a lot of colonoscopy. Mm -hmm. Somebody should go in there and take out. And black men need to be And most going. most black men ain't, ain't even going for that. Yeah. And that's why they need to take regular washout. Oh, nobody not playing on my body. No one not going on my body. That's why they need to take regular washouts because black men are at a higher disadvantage of catching colon cancer. Yeah, because um, it is not genetic though. It's not genetic. I hate when they try to make it seem like it's genetic. It's, it's not. It's not diet genetic. Based. It's a diet base. We yeah. tend to eat our our diet from the Caribbean all the way to the Americans, like the USA Americans. Our diet is a, a set away, mm -hmm. right? Fried and all that. Stuff. Yeah, fried, fried and food. well seasoned. Yeah. That well seasoned stuff. It's very good, tastes good, mm -hmm. but it's a high content in sodium, a high content in sugar, a high brown stew, what do you sugar that? You don't even know it. Yep. Come we used to make browning from brown sugar. See that? Sure and sure babe. So break that down, that's chicken cooked in sugar. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. But it tastes good though. <laughs> right? But you gotta get all that stuff out of your body. Anyway, not gonna make this last any longer. Stay tuned to the channel, it's SoFlow TV. I told you all the new um, schedule uh, for upload. I'm going to do a separate video for that and put it on the front of the channel so everybody knows. But morning thoughts, y'all know this already. From now on, it's 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. That's easy to remember. So you don't have to look out for no notification from YouTube because I literally think there are like thousands of people on the channel. Yeah. That are saying, yo, so flow, I didn't even know you're on YouTube anymore. Like, they're not getting their notifications. They thought I wasn't even on YouTube anymore, which is crazy. Because I'm putting up multiple videos per day. Mm -hmm. But it seems like YouTube is not notifying my subscribers, right? So, they think I stopped posting and they move on to something else. Anyways, it's 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. I'm not going to be giving you multiple videos because you guys can't keep up. And I understand your life is busy. My life was busy too. I took a break. That's why I may have all this time for chat to you every morning. No. But my life is going to be really busy again soon. But I want, when I put the videos out. So for, our, our channel is not about one quick little review here and you just run through it and on to the next thing. This is kind of a channel where you have to sit down and meds what's being said. Right, so the evening videos are probably going to be a little bit longer than the morning videos. This is probably the longest morning video you will get. All right, it's got 13 minutes on change already. I could feel that stuff working in my belly right now. It's like blue, blue, blue. Right, so. so, 7 a.m., 7 p.m., 7 a.m., 7 p.m. That's the new upload schedule. You'll get one video at 7 a.m. every morning. One video at 7 p.m. every evening. That means that you're coming from work, you have a fresh video to look forward to on SoFlow TV. You're, going to, you're going to work in the morning, you have a fresh video to look forward to or watch on your lunch break if you're going in real early on SoFlow TV. All right? I don't know how big of a for our channel, what your upload schedule, or you're just going to continue the way you're doing it. I don't know yet. Okay, she don't know yet. So, so for SoFlow TV, it's 7 a.m., 7 p.m. All right? That's a new upload schedule. Big up on yourself, man. Stay progressive. Stay productive. Remember, health is wealth. Try to get the health back. I know sometimes we slack lose off. track and slack off and enjoy life a little. I've been enjoying wine a lot lately. But it's time to get back to what's good. And what's good is health. All right? I'm out. Peace.